Could the days of Din Djarin the Mandalorian having his face hidden behind a helmet be behind us? Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new to this channel, please give us a subscribe. And if you like the video, use the force and smash that like button. This is the way. Let's talk some Mandalorian Season 3. This season has been crazy. Split by fans. Blah, blah, blah. Don't care. It's awesome. Spies are amongst the Mandalorians. And I want to talk about that just a little bit. I have a Book of Tan video that is out right now. I want to talk a little bit about the possibility that most people are on the train that the armor is the other spy. We saw her leave the planet with some injured. She went on the ship. Could the armor be the armor? a uh, spy, multiple spies in the title of the spies, could it be the armor? And let's take a look at that for a little bit. In a recent interview, executive producer and director Rick Famuyiwa said that seven and eight has a lot of, of the story culminating together. There's a lot going on and, and it possibly will change the course of the Mandalorian. He also said at another point, this season is the arc of the first two seasons of the Mandalorian as well as the book of Boba Fett. He feels like they're building towards something that's really been earned over three seasons. And he's looking forward to whatever that reaction is. Now, if you look at the first three seasons, you have the armor who was absent for season two but showed up in Book of Boba Fett which could be the part of Book of Boba Fett that Rick Femiua is talking about. If that is the case you look at the armor specifically who has the rule of don't remove your helmet who sends Din to exile to Mandalore brings Bo-Katan and tells Bo-Katan that she can remove her helmet is playing all of these chess pieces with the Mandalorians and if she turns out to be the spy, the Judas, if you will, then maybe the outlook on Mandalorian and that faction of the Mandalorians, maybe then they decide, you know what, we can remove our helmet. <clears throat> there is no code. The code was a sham on display by the armor. And if that's the case, going forward, Pedro Pascal, his face can be seen more often. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. Is it possible? It's possible, I suppose. Anything's possible. So that's where we are right now. The culmination of the first two seasons of Mandalorian and the Book of Both. That could it lead to the armor betraying her people and the removal of Din Djarin's helmet for good on The Mandalorian. Would you be down to see more Pedro Pascal face on this series? Would he be down for it? He's very busy right now, so who even knows if he has the time? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. And until next time, may you be the masters of your own universe.